Hello, Cancerians, my awesome Cancerian people. I missed you guys, Cancerians. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. I can't believe it's Monday again. Uh, the weekends fly by too quickly. Cancerians, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. Ooh, love. Cancerians, first we're going to ask what's coming towards you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. We are on soulmate journeys. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cancerians. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer, for Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Cancer in their life, and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Cancer currently doing on the soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Cancer in their life? How is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Cancerians. Wow, what's going on? This is you dealing with some hectic situation around you, whether it's at work or in a family or in a neighborhood, you're dealing with or will be dealing with a bunch of people disagreeing, fighting, arguing. Uh, somehow you're going to be uh, thrown into that situation, but it's karmic. It's going to work out for your highest good. Uh, this is like balancing of karmic debts. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. This is beautiful. Cancerians, whatever is going on or will be going on that will be will seem dramatic. You're going to be uh, more than okay. This is the best card in the whole deck. Oh, Cancerians, your soulmate is in and out of your life, in and out, in and out of your life. Um, they're not making a serious commitment. Uh, whether they can't or don't want to for whatever reason, they're not uh, in your life consistently. You see, this is wishy-washy energy. But this person loves you deeply. They have deep love for you. You see, they're looking at the sun. They want to handle this justly. They want to do right by you. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, the soulmate connection that you're in. Uh, you feel like it's very unnerving. Like you have to go through it. Uh, this is stressing you out. But this shows victory after... Uh, Great emotional struggle. You see victorious ending showing up here. Like you're going to be able to see clearly whether this person truly loves you or not and how to proceed accordingly in this situation. You know, please show us what's coming towards Cancerians and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey. Mm. So it looks like this person is coming forward with some kind of solid offer they want to they intend to do right by you so they have been acting like they in and out of your life inconsistent not making any commitment but it looks like this person intends to uh, be solid in this connection with you whatever is going on at your job or business people bickering gossiping arguing fighting the best way to handle uh stressful people at uh, job or business is not to let them drag you into their gossip circles, not to take sides, stay neutral. Let them resolve their own self-created drama. This is you missing your soulmate. And this is you also worried about your finances, wanting to make sure that you are safe and secure financially for years to come. This person is going to take action towards you, it looks like. Yeah. This person feels you are the one for them, Cancerians. Universe, please show us. You may travel or may want to travel. It looks like this person is hoping to travel with you. Universe, please show us. Yeah, travel is indicated here. Long distance travel. Maybe even to foreign countries. 
because this is the world and this is travel in your subconscious position. Uh, if you're not planning any trips, it looks like something will come up for you where you may have to go or you don't have to if you don't want to, but you're going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere far. Uh, universe, please show us what's coming towards Cancerians and how is Cancer currently doing on the soulmate journey. If you have your own business, people are spying on you to uh, be nosy, to see how you're um, succeeding. Uh, so you know what that means. When people are spying and are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Just continue doing what you're doing. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of drama. This is you not sleeping right. This is you having nightmares, not resting, worrying too much. Yeah, look at this. What's going on? So there's going to be some kind of dramatic situation where they're going to try to drag you into it. Don't let them. Don't let anybody drag you into the drama. Stay clear of people's uh, self-created drama. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what I do. It works for me. If it works for me, it's going to work for you. Uh, they have drama in their life for a reason, to teach them something. Yeah. Mm. A lot going on for you. You're going to have to make some shifts, adjustments, decisions. Uh, regarding your job, business, your relationships with other people, people showing up here again, arguing, bickering, trying to drag you into that drama. The best way to handle that is to let them resolve their own drama. Yeah, uh, it's there in their life for a reason to teach them something. Uh, in a minute, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Universe, please show us um, What's coming towards Cancer? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Beautiful. You're going to be celebrating something. Mm -hmm. Some kind of victorious event. Something that you're accomplishing on your own. This is you not knowing what to do with your soulmate situation. You feel like your life is on hold. Like you can't fully emotionally... Uh, release them. This is you trying to figure out what to do with them. They could be any sign whatsoever, uh, Cancerians. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. So this is the person you're thinking of while watching this video. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer. For Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Cancer. <clears throat> the soulmate of Cancer. What is currently going on with the soulmate of Cancer? And how is the soulmate of Cancer currently relating to Cancer, especially emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind at this time towards Cancer? This person wants to come towards you with some kind of emotional gesture, offer, love. This person loves you quietly. Uh, this is quiet, secret, hidden love, unexpressed love. This person wants to show you that they love you or still love you. Yeah, I see. This is them concentrating on you. Yeah, I see. Silent treatments are showing up here. This is them suffering in silence. They feel deep love for you but are not expressing it to you at this time. This is them suffering in silence, not knowing what to do. Yeah, this is them trying to heal. Be patient with the situation. Universe, please show us. A lot of you are dealing with Sagittarius. But they could be any sign, really. You know, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time. They're checking up on you. Curious what's going on in your life. How are you doing? Yeah. Uh, they want to see you, Cancerians. They want to see you. They want to... See you face to face, communicate with you. This is them quiet, pondering, thinking, analyzing the feelings they feel for you. You see, they've been waiting to see if you're going to communicate with them. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. They view you as very attractive, independent, strong-willed, holding your own, taking care of yourself, not needing them for anything. Yeah, you see, they want to manifest this uh, reunion with you, this... Uh, reconnection with you again Virgo and Gemini showing up here wow they're checking up on you heavily <clears throat> whatever is going on at your job or business it looks like people are spying on you checking up on you 
nosy, curious what's going on with your business or job, wanting to know, huh? This is deceit, spying. Hmm, what's going on here? Yeah, this person of yours, uh, uh, they are at a crossroads, but they, they, it's like they almost certain that they have to reach out to you. They, there's no point waiting for you to reach out to them. Like they feel they need to be the ones reaching out to you. Yeah, you see, you walked away from this. It's like you let them go. Yeah, they're so heartbroken over losing you. You see, this is the worst card in the whole deck, Three of Swords in traditional decks. Three of Swords is depicted with the heart being stabbed by three swords. So if they walked away from you, left you behind, whether for somebody else or emotionally left you behind, physically left you behind, they regret it deeply. Yeah, and if you left them, they regret uh, disappointing you. Uh, where you had to let them go this either way however it happened it shows that this person feels deep regret for the mistakes that were made uh, and they feel serious mistakes were made and that's why the two of you are not together this person is deeply heartbroken over losing you but they silent about it they're not showing it they're not expressing it if you see them from the outside they seem perfectly fine like it's not affecting them but it's affecting them very deeply emotionally Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the summit of cancer and how's the summit of cancer towards cancer at this time. You see, this is them quiet, pondering, analyzing, strategizing, waiting to see what to do. See, it's like they feel their life is on hold. They're not moving on. Yeah, they view you as very attractive, independent, strong-willed. You see, they want to fight for you. Yeah, this is them wanting to fight for you. They have deep love for you, but are not expressing it. Um, King Sirius, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. Uh, what they planning for you long-term? Then we're going to ask what they hiding from you at this time, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, can Sirians click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.